And all he does is like grab my hands and he's like, oh yes, feel my abs, feel my abs. As soon as the hands go lower and lower, I'm like, oh, now we're getting to the real part. Hello guys, it's me, Nikki. Hello guys, it's me, Nikki. Hello guys, it's me, Nikki. Hello. Hello. Long time no see my friends, hello. <laughs> First of all, happy new year, happy 2023. Is this video way too late? Absolutely, but here I am. A lot of you guys have been asking me to do more longer videos, which thank you so much. You know, life happens, TikTok happens, Reels happens, and for one part, I got a bit, you know, covered up in all the short form content, and I really liked doing that. If you don't follow me there, it's at Nikki Tutorials, what a surprise. And then I saw the comments saying, don't forget about us. I haven't forgotten about you. Here I am. I do have a little YouTube plan in mind for the coming year so you don't feel so neglected because I see you and I love you and I appreciate you. You know, the five of you that are still watching. <laughs> So in today's video, we're looking back at the previous year, so 2022, and we're looking forward, we're kind of predicting what's gonna happen in, in this year, 2023. I mean, we've done two years so far. One year was dark because I was heavily depressed. <laughs> the following year was less dark because I still thought I was depressed, but I wasn't. <laughs> How I roll. Roll, roll. <laughs> Of course, Manager Tutorials is here. Hi, Wes. Hello, hi. And we upgraded. We gave him a microphone for once. Yes, I yes. hope it's working. Probably not. <laughs> if you're watching this, grab a snack, grab a drink. We did an upgrade this year. Ching, ching. We said no to the wine. Oh. We uh, upgraded to espresso martinis with Baileys in them. And without any further ado, if you're ready to look back and look forward, let's go. Like every year, I try to find a question with the elephant in the room. Can I make it again? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you only upload on YouTube if you have a Nimia product release? You're not supposed to ask me this. You're supposed to protect me. <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't. Because I, I, I have done a Halloween video in between. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, YouTube has been hard for me. I've been doing YouTube, this is my 15 year anniversary this year. I've kind of done it all and I really found new passion in short form video. Cause usually when I thought of makeup I was like, oh, I gotta sit down for like five hours. It kind of took the joy out of it and with the short form, it brought back the joy. There's still no explanation as to why I only upload with the launch. Whenever we launch something, we, we work so hard on it, you know this. And even though I haven't been in, on YouTube for a little bit then, I still want the people that are only on YouTube to see what we've poured our time and love in. But noted, I should upload more. It's something I have as a goal. Okay. I'm gonna show you some clips of previous years. That was oh a good look. God. I think in 2022, Queen Elizabeth dies. And, um... Ukraine will win Eurovision. <laughs> Just saying something. <laughs> How? I don't know how I got that right. You know, so many people tweeted me. So many people came up to me and they were like, what's going on? Are you a psychic? When am I gonna die? I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. You asked me for random predictions and those were the first two to pop in my head. And I don't know why. It does put a pressure on me because I'm like, I, sh I need to get it right this year as well. Another clip that I want to show you. 2023. <sighs> how old were you? I'll be 30. No, I'll be 29. How Can she count? Be? I'll be married. It has to happen in the next three years. Um, I'll be married. Mm -hmm. I'll have... Don't say a baby. A baby? Oh, she was I she had a plan. I don't see that happening in the next three years either. In the last two videos, I you both baby. yeah you both predicted or you talked about starting your family and having a kid. Well, I still want one, but not in the next three years. <laughs> I can't right now. Life is too like we can go anywhere we like. I'm I'm not ready for that pressure yet. What if I'm gonna break its neck? <laughs> Mom life is gonna wait just a little longer. Oh. Will you be married in 2021? Oh God, I hope so, but I don't know. See, Dylan and I made the the very clear decision that we want to get married as soon as the world heals. Cause I don't want to be like in a situation where I can't hug my loved I ones, my friends, and we can't celebrate love. Love. Um, so until the world heals, heals, then no. Now I've been married for a few months. Yeah. How is married life been? Oh, it's it's not different at all. People go, oh, they come up to me, they go, how does it feel? I'm like, it doesn't feel any different. Well, my favorite thing is when we have an argument, we can like scream at each other. And I don't care, cause I'm like, we're married. It's not like we're gonna walk away. When things get feisty, I'm like, oh, bitch, let's get it on. Ah, know where you're running away from this one now. <laughs> 
I want to show you another clip of your um, dress. A lot of people are like, oh my god, are you so excited for your wedding? I'm like, yeah, I am. They're like, what's your dress? Like, I like, I would like to know too. <laughs> So no, I need to find a designer yes. that's gonna make my dream dress yes. in time. See, I was like, oh, a dress. You can make a dress in a couple of months. Um, I didn't find a designer until May. Luckily, Victor and Rolf said, this is like the, the, the max of how far we can stretch it or how fast we can go. Well, things happen for a reason. And I'm a procrastinator and I'm proud of it. And you find the people around you who can deal with it. Yeah. Do they sleep? No. Oh, no. Best <laughs> album of the year. Lady Gaga, Chromatica, <laughs> Lil Nas X. Oh, best album is a Renaissance, Beyonce. Best movie of the year. Well, nothing came out. <laughs> oh, Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Black Panther. Best song of the year. Alice by Lady Gaga. Am I dreaming? Am I dreaming Lil Nas X and Miley Cyrus? Uh, Adele set fire to the rain. We went to the concert last year and that woman put on a show, honey. So it's an old song, yeah. but the way she did it, and then I started listening to it again and it just became my, my fave. Best YouTube video of the year. My coming out, yeah. <laughs> Adele. <laughs> Probably a new rock stars episode where they like dissect a Marvel episode. I don't know. Best meme of the year. May I make some? For Only Dutchies will get it, but that's the one. Saint Ho is like my everything. It's not really a meme. It's just anything Saint Ho does is just my religion. Come on, see ya. <laughs> Doesn't stop. Watch, here we go, here we go. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. There goes my copyright. <laughs> Best TikTok of the year. I mean, anything on TikTok is really, really good. Harry Potter is dead. <sighs> oh, I know, I know, hold on. I'm really sad. Hard. Best emoji of the year. Oh, the new one where it's like, and there's a tear. The sighing one with a little puff of air, like <sighs> coffin. <laughs> My favorite thing to use when something is like really funny or like awkward, I use the coffin. And then I want you to watch this. This commercial is a dream. Will you record your own song next year? You need to stop. Oh. The universe wants me to be a musician. When she's gotten so many emails this uh, couple of last months for me to like sing a song. Savvy. <laughs> and I'm gonna repeat it once more. I cannot sing. No. And yes, sometimes there's a, a tune in there where I'm like, I did that. And then I try to do it again and it fails. I cannot sing. I can't hold a tune. No. It's not gonna happen. But yes, I'm gonna record a song. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna say it. I'm just gonna put it out in the universe. Your girl is gonna make a career change. I'm gonna be a musician. We're gonna make a song. Not saying it's gonna be good, but yeah, let's make a song so we can shut everyone up. I can't sing. There's not a chance that if we do it, I'm ever gonna do it live somewhere. But I just wanna live my Erica Jane fantasy. I don't think Erica Jane sings live either. <laughs> Best day of this year? The day after the coming out video. The day after the first live show of Eurovision. Once I heard like the first critics being positive, I was like, oh, now we can have fun. My wedding day. Be wrong if I said something else. The day we got the first email from the blackmailer. Was that worse than the robbery? No robbery was worse. Oh my God, I didn't have a worst day of my life this year. Ah! <laughs> 2022, did I have a worst day of my life? No, no. I love it because in 2021, you put it in perspective to 2022 or yeah. 2020. Like once you've gone through that, you're like, oh, this is easy. But yeah, it puts things in perspective. Yeah. What is a positive thing in the news right now? Is there anything? No, like honestly, is there anything positive at this moment? I feel like every time I turn my TV on, it's like Omicron this, Omicron, Omicron that. that. <laughs> oh, booster here, booster, booster there. there. We have someone who's against, who's anti-vax. Oh, that yeah. Everything is so pandemic related yes. that I am dying for some news. It feels like one year ago, but it also feels like two weeks ago. I still have to get used to like, we're going places and there's a bunch of people in one room. I'm like, oh, this is loud. Will it remain open 
2023? Yes. What's the most favorite picture you've posted this year? Oh, my wedding photo, where we kiss. What's the most important video you've uploaded this year? The wedding video. Yeah, that was, um, I really wanted to take everyone who's watching with us and I wanted to show you and um, it got copyrighted because Davida song. What's um, your favorite TikTok slash reels that you've posted this year? <laughs> that, loved it. And the reactions underneath, ooh. Well, Karen's right. You'll never be a real woman. <laughs> okay. Hey, what content created at the moment? Uh, Michaela. I love her so much. And she's so passionate. Like when I look at her, I feel that passion for makeup, that yes. love for makeup that sometimes I feel like kind of like slipping away at yeah, days. See, that's the way what she said. plays with makeup, I'm like, I want to play now. And it, it takes a lot for someone to make me after playing with makeup Can we for years. talk about my brows? How tiny they were? I think she's still my favorite creator. Cause, um, and we met her. We filmed a video for Maybelline and it's up on the Maybelline channel right now. Go check it out. No, I love Michaela. I, I feel like she's still my favorite creator. She can literally sell poop. If she goes, this diarrhea is the perfect shape to contour with, I'll be like, we're gonna buy it. I love her, I love her. What is a technical thing at the moment that blows your mind? Well, we just got a new uh, VR controller. Sick played Among Us on it. When you're the imposter and you have to go in the vent, you have to like bend down and be like, I'm in the vent. I love Among Us. We're gonna do a round of predictions. Oh no, not again. <laughs> this is a big moment. Yes. It's a big moment. What will be the biggest news of 2023? The biggest news should be that the war between Ukraine and Russia is over. It never should have started, ever. Who will be the next president of the United States of America? Oh, is that coming up? No, but I think it's up in 2024. No, I think it's gonna be, it's not gonna be Biden, I'm afraid. I, I hope it's not gonna be Trump again. I h wish for Kamala to be it, but I'm, I think it's gonna be a new person. And then we get to three questions of predict something random. Three. Funny. They're the most fun. Okay, uh, number one, I hope it doesn't happen. Mark my words, I hope it doesn't happen because I, I wish her a long, happy life, but I'm afraid Dolly Parton is gonna pass away. I think Taylor Swift is gonna have a baby. I'm not saying that she's gonna deliver the baby this year, but she's gonna have a bump. Statements, honey. And the third one is, hold on, it's coming to me. The universe is pointing it in my head. Tell me, universe God. Oh, is that what's happening? Oh, really? Oh. Someone's getting separated. Oh, who is it? Oh, Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck. But Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck are separating. Boom, shakalaka. Like I said, just predictions. I don't hope any of these things, except Taylor, I, I wish you a, a cute little baby. Are you more confident this year than last year? Yeah, no, yeah, I think so. She's wearing heels. She's showing legs every now and then. What person do you hope to collaborate with next year? Ooh, I've given up on The Rock. I don't think Harry's gonna happen. Jennifer Coolidge. Yes, let's put that in the universe. I love her. Do you know who uh, Jennifer Coolidge is? Have you ever seen um, uh, Legally Blonde? Mm -hmm. the, the woman in the nail salon, her? Yeah. They say I look like her daughter. My mom. My mom. Your face is like the 4th of July. Who was the most annoying celebrity? Of Me. <laughs> I got so tired of my own damn face. J.K. Rowling. Kanye West. Goodbye. You and J.K. Rowling go fall off a cliff, really. What is the biggest thing you're struggling with at this moment? Trying to do everything right for Nimya. Like that's Aww. a whole new sort of like responsibility because Aww. before I was just doing all of this. Yes. Now that you have a brand, you are responsible for so much. And that is like a daily thing where I'm like, okay, we need to do this. We need to do that. We Like there's so much to think of. Glad I could finally say that we've left the body for at least one year. I was really worried about Nimya because you know, we spend all our time, all, all our money into Nimya and I really wanted to do everything right. I'm so excited that we launched our first palette this year, last year. What was the question? <laughs> Uh, what do you? What is the biggest thing you're struggling with at the moment? Like in 2020, our focus was your vision. In 2021, our, our focus was the, was the wedding. And I'm trying to find what what the big thing is that we're focusing on this year. I'm so used to like working towards something that now it feels a bit more open, which is nice. I like the openness, but I also like working towards a goal. So I think the goal is gonna be Jennifer Coolidge. Right in line, you're a vision wedding Jennifer Coolidge. <laughs> if money was no object. What would you do all day? 
I don't think a lot would change. I would change not being allergic to white wine. Cause it's a problem. I would probably, which is sad cause I'm gonna pump it into work again, but I would pump it into Nimya to be able to like create a new product every two months and to come up with like a hundred shades of foundation. I would just pump some collections out. What do you fear the most? Well, in general, death is still number one. Oh, if I think about death, oh. We're gonna do a best of 22 round two which is makeup, best lipstick of the year. It's this one by Doll Lips. It's called FOMO. Uh, Doll Lips, FOMO. Jacqueline Cosmetics. Oh, hi! You know, I love Jacqueline's liquid lipstick, but I always wear, this has been my favorite. This is, are you sitting down? The copper sparkle in this. I saw this trend on TikTok where um, this uh, viral Dior gloss, glittery, and I was like, this is glittery. So I'm using mine. Uh -huh. My favorite. Best mascara of this year. L'Oreal Mega Volume Waterproof Miss Baby Roll. Lash Paradise Waterproof by L'Oreal. Can't tell ya. <laughs> Best highlighter of the year. My highlighter in collaboration with Ofra, Glazed Donut, duh. Makeup by Mario, Opal something. This is uh, Mario, Soft Glow Highlighter in Opal. It's, it's sex in a pot. Best palette of the year. I'm literally wearing it all the time. I'm wearing it today. It's my palette. I haven't touched anything else for like months now. I don't know the names. Oh, well, there's only one right answer to that question. She's uh, just a little dirty, but, and she's loved. My palette that I created with Nimya, Nimya the palette. I, I can't live without this one. I'm so proud of it. Best foundation of the year. Marc Jacobs Accomplice, but also Jouer Essential High Coverage. Low end would be Maybelline Super Say, the 30 hour one. High end is the KVD Beauty, uh, the Good Apple, the Balm Foundation. For me, still, if you're going for long wear full coverage, Maybelline Super Stay, 30 hour. You shouldn't wear it for 30 hours. But if you're going for something a little bit more light, I really like the Juvia's Place. Ah! Best blush of the year. Zomer from my palette. Blurch by Mama Mitchell in Can't Cope with Coral. Well, this is loved. This is Surratt, Guimauve, Artistic Blush, Guimauve. It's a, uh, it's, I'm wearing it today actually. It's, it's like the perfect little pink. Just like the variety of it, like from hosting to interviewing to launching an own brand. This year was mm -hmm. so all over the place. Mm -hmm. I loved the sort of like the craziness of it all and like, not a day was the same. And like I said, like wanting to inspire little Nikki's and being part of change, being able to go to the United Nations and being part of actual change, uh, this year was all over the place. I guess what I liked most about my job this year, 2022, was that I kind of refound the passion for makeup because I kind of lost that a little bit. We hosted this charity evening for Outright. We did uh, the 80 shows. We did, oh, I hosted the European premiere for House of the Dragon, which is painful. I'm gonna say it, which is painful because I love the cast, but part of that cast was really mean to me. <laughs> One person just came in and like, woo! Well, I looked at other interviews of this person and they're always kind of like this. So I guess it's just like their thing. What did you hate most about your job this year? Probably that part. <laughs> <laughs> Probably that part. Yeah, no, it's so weird. Cause I, I remember that person walking away and I looked at you and I was like, what just happened? And you were like, I've never seen this before. Are you currently where you want to be in your life? Yeah. 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 I feel good. Yeah. Um, I'm going to ask you to describe yourself in 2024. No baby. <laughs> every year we work on our goals and every year we try to like make it better than the, the previous year or the year before that. And every, I'm really happy with how every year has gone. So I guess we're just gonna follow this line of going upwards and forwards. And I I don't know. I think, it, it, I don't think a lot is gonna change. I hope not. 2025. I don't think a lot is gonna change. No, I'll be what? I'll be... 2024, oh. <laughs> Am I even allowed to do TikTok when I'm 31? I, want, I, I hope that by 2025, I, I will have something I've hosted in the States. So yeah, we're going, we're going worldwide, honey. How do you deal with the label transgender in the media? Oh yeah, I'm kind of used to that label. It, it shouldn't be included in everything that I do. Cause like it's, it's, 
that's not my full identity, but I'm okay with that label. I'm proud of that label, yeah. What matters differently now than a year ago? Well, I think my morals haven't changed. I still feel like, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Do you have morals at all? <laughs> this is what I have to deal with no. every f day. <laughs> People ask me, how do you stay so grounded? <laughs> it's this bitch over here. So predictions round two, it's online and personal life. Are you still on YouTube next year? Am I not gonna be? Uh -huh. I think I will, yeah, I will be. Well, if I survive this year, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Was I on it this year-ish? No, like I said, I made a plan for myself. Should I tell them the plan? No. <laughs> Are you still reading comments on Twitter next? You will probably force me not to? No, I am not. I stopped doing that. Mostly, mostly. No, I'm never on Twitter anymore. Really. How many followers do you have on Instagram by the end of this year? 15 hitting 16 million. 15.8 million? 18 million. Will you go viral this year? Oh God, for what? <laughs> Uh, I don't think like this year, no. Guess with Harry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've had some viral hits this year. Will you be married in 2021? Oh God, I hope so, but I don't know. No. <laughs> Just gotta say no. Will you still be married? Yeah, of course. Will you move? I'm gonna die in, oh, I shouldn't say that because then if I die in two years, they're gonna repeat, never said it. I'm gonna live in this house for a long time. Oh God, no, no, no. This place is finally coming along. No, no. No, no. Will you be involved in drama in 2023? God, probably. <laughs> Me? Am I the drama? No, I don't think I'm the drama. No, I feel like I'm a very steady. Oh, I really shouldn't say this. It's gonna bite me in the ass. I'm dramatic and I shout a lot, but I'm not, I don't think I'm drama. I'm dramatic, but not drama. What is one thing you did this year and will never do again? What is something I did this year and I will never do again? I can name something. Say it. Something with a stripper. <laughs> oh my God, Wes, no, you can't say, oh my God. Okay, so Wes organized uh, Dylan and myself's um, bachelor party. It was a big surprise. Will people say I took that surprise? Well, not necessarily. We walked into this restaurant and all our friends go, surprise! And I go, oh my God, how cute. And then they were like, you're gonna sleep in the city in a hotel. And I'm like, I hate this. <laughs> I hate not sleeping at home. I was like, oh, uh, okay. So we were seated, seated next to each other. Dylan got this gorgeous, perfect stripper. I would kill for that ass. I would kill for that body. Homegirl was serving it up on a platter. Everyone was looking at her. In the meantime, I also had a stripper. I'm sure he was really nice. The moment he walked in, I locked eyes with him and he looked away from me and I was like, oh God, he hates transgenders. <laughs> I was like, oh God, he doesn't want to strip. He starts to like dance around me and all he does is like grab my hands and he's like, oh yes, feel my abs, feel my abs. And I'm like, okay. As soon as the hands go lower and lower, I'm like, oh, now we're getting to the real part. In the meantime, homegirl over here is like serving up a show. So everyone's like, yes, girl, come on, girl, strip. And he's like, feel the abs, feel the abs. He starts to take his clothes off. And every time he does something slightly risque, which wasn't risque at all, he goes, sorry. <laughs> Wes paid extra for me to sing his ding, ding, ding along. For us all to see. For the entire room. Cause homegirl's over here stripping until there's nothing left on our body, which respect that. He grabs the towel. He starts like fluffing the hell out of his. I'm like, oh, he's trying. So I'm expecting like, you know, stripper. I'm expecting like, kabam. <laughs> and he was fluffing it. I thought it was, you know, gonna be like way up here. He moves towards me, he removes the towel. And I'm like, oh, it hangs. <laughs> and I expected him to turn around and show the room and he put it back on. And then the worst part is I was like, oh, and now they're gonna switch. I was like, I want the girl, give me the girl. She's good. They left. 2022 Nikki is watching go. This. What would you like to say to her? Hey girl, hey, bitch. what's going on? You did really good this year. Okay girl, round of applause, take it in. You have done your revision. You interviewed the queen of the Netherlands. Oh, I did. You went to the Met. You launched your own brand. Hello? 2021 was great for you. 
I can't promise if 2022 will be just as fun or it successful. It was. But know that your head is in the right place and you are actually enjoying things again. I hope you remember this, but like take it all in, soak it all up. If it's horrible, it's horrible, but soak it up. If it's good, soak it up. Make sure that you live in these moments because there has been times where it either like flew by or you didn't want to live in that moment. From 2021 to 2022, Nikki, I would say, girl, keep going. You can do it. I hope you have done it this year. I don't know what, but it's like what? I am proud of you. And I will always be proud of you, even if 2022 is not as successful as 2021. I think 2022 was just as successful as 2021. I soaked it all in. I took it all to heart and I enjoyed every minute of it. I think I did well. Yeah. So last question is, if December 2023, Nikki is watching this, what would you like to say? Well, girl, <laughs> you didn't have a goal this year, which is fine. It's, it's good to live in the openness. I hope you fulfill your um, 2023 dream of filming with Jennifer Coolidge. I know if we, you put your mind to it, it's gonna happen. You're gonna be happily married. You're gonna live life to the fullest. You're gonna be fine. Things have been fine. I feel like we're on a great wave. You're happy, please stay happy. Bitch, if you think about numbers again, first of all, if you're saying Dylan, my career is over, you don't say that. Please promise me you haven't said that this year. I hope by now, after three times of saying it, you finally lost some damn weight. <laughs> Just try to keep going for it like you have been. Well, everyone, that was uh, our 2022 recap video. I'm looking forward to predicting 2023. What a year it has been. I hope 2022 was just as fun for you as it was for me. And I can't wait to see, like I said, no goals. I don't know what 2023 is gonna bring it, but I know I'm gonna enjoy it to the fullest. So if you're happy that a long form video is back here on the channel, don't forget to show that love by subscribing to the channel and liking this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Trust me. We need it. Um, I wanna thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. And I will see you on the next one where a very sexy, handsome man and his wife are gonna be doing my glam. Can you guess who it is? Let me know in the comments down below and I will see you on the next one. Bye. Okay, now you're not allowed to touch your hair for one minute. I know, I just, <laughs> oh. It looks perfect. Okay.